hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel on another Marvel future fight content and today I'm going to talk about not any any content but a lots of content and the characters basically creating lots of contents because I'm going to tell you I'm going to suggest you uh, five best free-to-play low-cost tier 3 characters in the game in it's, it's basically my opinion it's basically my opinion not uh, it's not like you have to you must have to follow them but I think these are the five best free-to-play low-cost tier threes in my eyes basically in my opinion and uh, basically you can see in the screen um, for number one my opinion number one must pick uh, have character is a coast rider because uh, coast rider has lots of value in the game he is very good in world boss legend he's very good in world boss ultimate he's very good in abx danger Room extreme giant boss raid collector's giant boss i mean he dominates basically in every sector in the game he can play with his rage he can play with a judgment as well but uh, he's not a proc friendly character so do, don't bother giving giving him a proc obelisk or ctp of energy or destruction that's not going to you can give him a double fire damage 200 proc that might work but uh, an energy or a destruction or uh, like other ctps authority uh, transcendence and egg uh, it's not going to work with them and he's not good in pvp so he's a basically pve focused character and he's very low cost free to play tier 3 and one of the best characters in the game in my opinion and coming at number two is basically falcon so you can build falcon in two ways like if you want if you focus for uh, pvp content like turn battle and alliance uh, conquest so you can give him a cdp of region or might be a cdp of greed would be uh, better uh, but if you want to focus for uh, abx not ABX, uh, World Boss Legend, DRX, Gi Giant Boss Raid, like the PvE sector of the game. So you can build him like that way. And he's a very proc friendly character. So I have given him um, Mighty Energy. Mighty Energy is not basically necessary, but uh, energy would be good. And even uh, Crit Damage, Ignore Dodge, uh, or Double Crit Damage, uh, or Kick Damage, Ignore Dodge, or Kick Damage, Crit Rate, 200 proc is also good for him because uh, you can channel his skills and you can put all the damage into one skill so basically he uh, and uh, the reason why i uh, put falcon in number two because he is very very strong in world boss legend trust me he, he just shred world boss legend uh, like like nothing i mean uh, he just clears higher stages of null and mephisto very very easily because he's proc friendly and he has very high raw damage on his tier 3 skill and because uh, just because of this accumulation and uh, and very long um, animated uh, tier 3 he's basically tier 3 and he's very good in against other world bosses as well coming at number 3 is in my opinion Sharon Rogers most of the free to play accounts have this character may be built or may not be built but I think you should build this uh, women this lady she is very very strong and she is not just uh, strong in some specific content she is very except for abx she she can't uh, basically score high in abx although she has a very high raw damage but most of her damage basically uh, comes from her tier 3 skill and the accumulation the accumulation is basically how much damage you take from your enemy and it's increases attack by 15 percent so it's, a, it's the is the best accumulation uh, accumulate uh, accumulation uh, skill in the game the, in terms of how much damage you receive and her tier 3 skill is also very strong although it the, uh, this skill does not have uh, ignore dodge so maybe you can you can you can think that uh, she's not going to be good against novel mephisto you're wrong this 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 alone this skill alone hits really really hard and he she, she just uh, obliterates obliterates null and mephisto in higher stages not exactly much higher stages but you know uh, in middle stages and in lower stages where lots of characters lots of uh, strong characters fall behind she basically clears very easily 
and the most important thing is she is also proc friendly so you can give a CDP of energy and it would not be a waste in my opinion trust me and uh, where am I going okay coming at number four in my opinion is uh, Luna Snow now you can tell that Luna Snow is not basically a free to play character but I would say that there is not a basically a single account in this game starting from the newer to older player that does not have Luna Snow because you can farm Luna Snow Bios from Dimension Mission and she is the only uh, best character to farm in this in this uh, sector uh, Ghost Panther and uh, Ghost Panther, Valkyrie, uh, Colossus, Gambit these characters are also good but I think Luna Snow is the best and Luna Snow uh, you can farm her bios from here if you can if you if you are dedicated to basically farm her bios then you can refresh this as much as you can maybe um, I don't know how much uh, how much time you can refresh but uh, you can uh, either you can get her bios in the list for free like you don't have to refresh it or either you have to refresh to get the bios like here I have set an bios I if I refresh I would get like you can see Valkyrie bios so, and you have 20 chances of getting Luna Snow bios every day so in that sense she becomes a free to play character and she's a beast I mean she's, she's the queen of ABX she's known as the queen of ABX because mm, she has not been replaced not even close to any characters has replaced her in ABX she's uh, not very good in world boss legend or world boss legend Mephisto and now but uh, if you put a judgment on her then might be she, then she might be uh, good against Mephisto but um, I don't think uh, she, uh, you should build her that way because she is a ABX queen she uh, shreds ABX like nothing in all three seasons uh, with CDP of Rage, basically she doesn't work with any other CDPs. CDP of Rage or, C or Mighty Judgment or a Brilliant Judgment would be a very good choice. But Rage might be the best. And um, she uh, basically she's very good against uh, uh, Giant Boss Raid. And she's uh, um, kind of good in Danger Room Extreme, but uh, we have lots of uh, you know transcendent or tier three characters that can one shot. Uh, danger room extreme so she just fall ba falls behind in that sense but she's she is a queen she is queen basically i mean uh, she's a very lovely character she very lovely character to play with and her skill animations are so gorgeous so good and she has a very high raw damage that basically uh, de uh, does most of the damage for her in abx and coming at number five in my opinion is loki and uh, why i picked loki uh, because loki is a free to play character you can get his bios from bio selector and or any other places where you can get bios and he's a good character i mean uh, if you don't have enough resources to build now build now uh, sorry for the introduction guys okay if, I, if you have uh, if, if you don't have enough resources to build now or uh, any other super uh, universal characters like uh, Wanda, Null or uh, Supergiant because uh, three of these characters are meta right now and they are very much costly then you can go with Loki Loki is a one of the best free to play characters she, he, he scores really high in ABX like 9 million plus I have seen in different accounts and uh, uh, I mean that is this I mean if you if you don't have enough resources to build Null uh, Mephisto uh, Mephisto, not Mephisto, Null, uh, uh, Supergiant and uh, Wanda and Odin specifically and um, Odin and uh, all of the, these four characters are really I mean good and but they are very costly so uh, Loki I think uh, it would, would be a best choice for you uh, because he scores really high in AVX and uh, he scores uh, more than Null that is very surprising and he has all of the three uh, kits for ABX like he has silence on tier 3 skill he has burn on multiple skills and he has paralyzed so you can see you can see his value and he's very good in uh, against now uh, but I, I, I have not played here uh, against uh, Mephisto with him but I have played against now with uh, this uniform and Loki is good 
but I think you sh uh, you can wait you can wait to build Loki right now because Loki had a series with Disney Plus so maybe we will get a uniform for him um, I don't know when it's going to uh, come because uh, we have already seen the sneak peeks of the next update and uh, I'm hoping to get uh, his uniform in the mid month of uh, this update uh, I think uh, you should wait till then uh, because uh, it's, 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 it's confirmation I mean it's kind of kind of confirmed that Loki is going to get a Disney Plus uniform because Falcon did uh, Wanda and Vision did so why not Loki and Loki is uh, and you should look forward to that maybe that uniform uh, will be better than this one and that uniform uh, will shred World Wars Legend, now Mephisto, Danger Room Extreme, like other contents. So there are lots of other characters in the game, free to play, good characters. But I think these five characters are, these five, uh, uh, I know these five characters are my choice. It won't be your choice. Um, but I think these five characters are best for clearing every contents in the game right now but at the end I, I, I want to say that it's your game uh, it's your roster uh, you know better what character to build you know better what to choose for your roster what to choose for your account I think um, that basically concludes everything so uh, let me know in the comments that uh, what do you think about my opinion if I've made any mistake or not I didn't put vision venom Iron Man in the list because uh, I don't think they have this much value like these five characters in the game they're good I don't say that they are bad but I don't think these are characters are must-have characters in the game so um, that's all for today's video uh, we have another character like in this screen you can see uh, Captain Marvel is also good character I mean this uniform is a villain uniform that was a hero uniform but she's not a meta breaking character she's not she's a universal villain but she cannot do as much as Loki or even now although she has a very strong uniform passive and she's not very good against Null or Mephisto as well so she's not basically in my list as well and um, that's all that's all for today's video um, see, you to, uh, see you guys in the next video and until then take care and have a good game